Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you my new Photoshop Elements Gold Text technique right here. It's an improvement on my previous technique. I think this one actually looks pretty good. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, and don't forget to share. The more shares I get, the more videos I can do. And don't forget to subscribe as well. I do several videos every single week, so not to miss out on any of those, make sure you hit that subscribe and also hit that bell icon. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, Take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. We'll start this Photoshop Elements Gold Text project off with a brand new file. Go up to File, over to New, and Blank File. And I'll use the standard default Photoshop Elements size for this. Choose OK and there it is. Let's now fill this background with black. You can actually put anything you want in the background, doesn't really matter, this just goes in behind the text, but the gold shows up well against a black background. Towards the end of this project I'll show you how you can save the text out with a transparent background so you can then use it in other projects. Okay, so here's our basic background. Let's now put in our text. I'll be using the type tool of course and the typeface I've chosen here is called Trajan Pro Regular. It's a lot like Times New Roman, things like that. It's maybe just a little bit more elegant looking than Times New Roman. But, you know, any nice little relatively thin typeface, just a regular typeface works out great for this. Let's change the color over here. And if you don't want to choose from the color swatches, just click the little icon right down there. And that brings up the standard color picker up here. And you can then type in whatever color you want. And we'll be using a, an orange, is FFDE00, just kind of a bright orange like that. Choose OK, there it is. And then I'm going to set the type size here a lot bigger than this. I'm going for 124 points, which should just about fill the page up here. And there it is. And then just type in gold, all caps. Doesn't matter where you put this, just type it in because we'll then move it like that. Now in the next step, we're going to lose this gold color but we'll put it back in again, so don't worry about that. I just want to get that color set up ahead of time. Okay, so there's the basic layout. Again, just a standard serif typeface, kind of a nice elegant one, some nice thicknesses and thinnesses in there. Let's now put a style onto this. Come down to Styles right down here. And in the Styles, you want to go up and change this down to the Wow Chrome. You want that one right there. It's called Wow Chrome Shiny Edge. And it gives you this kind of a chrome look. Now we did lose our color in there, that's fine. So we have our nice chrome look. We'll put that color back on again. Come down to Layers. Let's now make a copy of this layer. Right click and Duplicate Layer. Choose OK. And on this layer it should say Gold Copy. Right click on that name and come down to Simplify Layer. Now what this does is it converts this from a text layer into just a graphics layer. You can now hide that text layer. Let's now right click on this layer again and once again do Simplify Layer. And notice when we did that the second time, that FX drops off over here. So we've now merged the effects in with that text. So now it's just graphic artwork. If I hide the background, there it is just like that. Okay, that's all set to go. Now we need to have our gold color back in again, and that's easy to do. We'll put a layer above this and then merge the color into this layer. So go up to Layer, come down to New Fill Layer, Solid Color, and then choose OK. And this should automatically fill with a color that we already used, which is in the foreground right over there. And that does. If not, you can just type the color in right down here. Choose OK. Now where it says Normal, this is your Blend Modes. Come down and change this to Color. So it now puts just the color into this layer below. And then let's set this so it also is only putting that inside the letters. And then right click one more time and come down to Create Clipping Mask. That puts the gold color just inside the letters and not on the background. Let me just show you that again. There it is. So it's clean like that. Now that's pretty good looking. That's not a bad looking gold lettering. But we can do even better than this. And we'll start off here by creating another copy of this layer. Take your copy layer right here. Right click, duplicate layer. Choose OK. Take this layer and move it above your stacks. There it is. Notice how this layer lost its clipping mask, the color layer. Let's put that back in again. Right click where it says color and create clipping mask and that's all back in place again. Now on this layer up here, 
I want to put a different effect on this one. So I'll come down to Styles, and this time change this up to Bevels, and choose that one right there. Kind of a metallic-y looking thing right there, that Bevels. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back to Layers again. So this is our, our new Bevels effect. Now I want to apply this effect onto our previous gold letters. I don't want to have it just like this with the black and white. And we can do that because it's a black and white effect in here. We can use this and choose to move just the levels to our previous color layer and not change anything else. And we'll do that by doing a blend mode again. And the one you want is luminosity way at the bottom down there. And that just moves that effect in here onto that previous color. Now it's too strong, as you can see. Much too much going on in here. Let's adjust that. Change the opacity down to halfway. I'll just type in 50%. And it puts just a little bit of those kind of gold reflections in there. And we're getting a lot closer already. It looks really nice at this point. Again, you could stop here if you wanted to. But we can still go even further on this one. So hide the background. Make sure that where it says gold is hidden as well. So you have just these three layers right now. Click on the top layer, and we're going to merge these three layers together onto a new layer. And to do that, hold the Shift, Control, Alt keys down and tap on the E key. And that copies all of these to a new layer right here. And if you want at this point, you could use this in a different project. There's your gold lettering. We'll take it even further than this. I'm just going to hide these other layers in behind. We don't need those any longer. There's the basic gold lettering. There's the background again. So it looks pretty good. But let's take it even further by adjusting our values in here. So if we do a couple of adjustment layers, we'll start off with up here a layer, come down to adjustment layer and hue saturation, where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask, choose that, choose OK. And on this I want to bring the saturation up, I want to have more brightness in my gold colors, and that's your saturation. If you pull this to the side, that brightens all that gold effect up. We'll take it way up. The one I actually used here was 71. Kind of like that real nice bright gold effect. That one's done. Let's now adjust our values a little bit in here as well. And we'll do that with a levels control, increase our contrast. Same idea, layer, adjustment layer, and levels. That's your top option. Again, where it says use previous layer, just check that. Choose OK. And if we pull these sides in, the left and the right sides in, it's going to increase the contrast in a very controlled way. So pull the left side in, it makes your darks darker. The number I used in here was 11. If you pull your right side in, it makes the whites whiter or brighter. And the number that I used over here was 219. And then close that down. It's looking really nice now, real gold, real shiny. Last other thing I want to do is do a little bit of a color value change across the bottom down here. So let's make a new layer. There we go. Brand new layer. Grab the rectangular marquee tool and come down kind of below that cross beam right there in the G. So down here, so we're making a rectangular marquee for about the bottom third. Just like that. And I want to fill this with a different color. So click on your color picker over here. And down here, little code is right there. Let's just change this, and the one I want here is FFBA00. Just a lot more orange in there. And then choose all right. Let's now fill that. Grab your paint bucket, click in there. It fills that in. There we go. And we can then deselect. Now the edge is too hard up here. I want to soften the edge down. We'll do that with the Gaussian Blur. Go up to Filter, come down to Blur, and your Gaussian Blur is right there. And I have mine set at 34. You can do 34 or 35. Either one of those is just fine. Choose OK. So that looks real nice. So you can see the blur is coming up here. It's still below the halfway point on your letters. You can adjust the position if you want to just by moving this up and down to get it right where you want it. I'll leave it at that. That looks fine. And we want to blend this into those letters in behind. And again, if we're blending it, that means it's a blend mode. And the one you want this time is multiply, which is right there. And that puts those colorations into the bottom of your lettering. Let's just go down here to our background again. And there we go. There's my new and improved gold metallic look. I think this is much better than I was doing before here inside of Photoshop Elements. 
Now, again, if you want to have all of this on a nice clean layer with a clear background to use in a different project, that's easy to do. Let's just hide that background again. And up here, notice that we have this is kind of showing like that outside. We need to put that inside, and that is that clipping mask. So where it says Layer 2 up here, right-click on that and choose Create Clipping Mask. That puts that inside of the letters. There we go. And then use that same keyboard shortcut trick. That's the Control, Shift, Alt, and tap the E key. And that copies everything onto just the one layer. We can hide all of these layers now. And you'll see it's now on just that one layer with a transparent background. So you can now use this anywhere you want to. I'll bring our black background back in again. So there it is. There's my new and improved Photoshop Elements Gold Text Technique. Now don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And also, just as important, Click on share and share this with your friends. The more shares I get, the more videos I can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos in the future. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.